So these are all my groceries that I ordered from Amazon Prime. I'm gonna start eating healthy um, because I think I'm pre-diabetic. They have not um, yet confirmed, but I think so. My symptoms are giving me that. So I just wanna, you know, before getting diagnosed or anything, I don't even wanna calm that down on myself, but yeah. So I bought some greeneries. I'm gonna start eating healthier. Um, if you get what I'm saying, I bought unsalted, unsalted. I want to eliminate um, starch from my diet. So this is how I'm going to start. This, so this morning, I didn't have any of these choices like veggies or chicken. I've got chicken that is being thawed out now, but I didn't have any healthy options. So I didn't eat anything. I just boiled eggs. And that's the only thing that I had. So I'm saying to myself, I'm just going to wait until this come before I go back to pasta and rice. Because I am very serious about this. I'm trying to get healthier. So we've got our avocado. We've got our spinach. We've got our broccoli. And I've got my bell pepper. I've got my carrots that I can't wait to boil. I've got okra that I ought to eat, but now I'm gonna start eating. it. I've got my banana. I wish, well, I'm going on holiday um, next week. So hopefully these are finished before then. And I think they will because whenever you bought veggies, they don't stay long. So yeah, and we have this um, chicken breast. Can't wait to either roast it or you know, cook it down very well. And I've got my white cabbage. I bought salad cream because all these greenery, I just can't eat them without having some sort of dressing on it. So now I'm just going to hang my coat up and start cooking. No, first I'm going to pack away the groceries and then start cooking. Um, some cabbage in it as well and some lettuce and some avocado so we're just going to cook up some um, some veggie stuff some salad and eat. so let's do that now first I have to pack away the dishes It's meant to wash your veggies. I bought this from Team as well. I use this to wash my rice. But today we're gonna use this. this in Ikea as well. Oops! Too much water. So I need to take my time. You can pour it from here in the sink. But I'm gonna leave it for now and cut up the greenery and everything else. So I'm gonna put this over here. recently from Ikea it was three pounds on sale I think three pound fifty I'm gonna wash it out and I'm going to use it I bought this from team if I cut my veggies I can just store them in different um, compartments easier to use <laughs>
I do not like broccoli one bit, but I think I just have to do it for my health. Um, whenever I'm eating broccoli, I usually have to use salad cream or some sort of sauce or beans or something to um, take the taste away. But the I think the hack with healthy eating is to add one of your favorite sauce to it. Over time, I start liking veggies. So if you just introduce it in your diet, gradually you'll like it. Gradually your taste buds will grow accustomed to it. I didn't like veggies at all. Then I started liking cucumber, then lettuce, then tomato just a bit, then spinach. I'm eating, I would have never thought I'd see the day where I'm eating spinach so everything you just need to introduce in small portions over a period of time growing up in a Caribbean household or I should say for me a Jamaican household starch is like 80% of our diet starch 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 and the protein would be the least so now I'm trying to divert from that and have more protein more veggies and less starch but I just want to see where this takes me um, with healthier and balanced life I should have been doing this long time ago to be honest but I was just taking everything for granted but now I am feeling all these symptoms Patrice now is the time to nip this in the bud start eating healthy living alone is like the ultimate goal to control what you're eating because you are buying your own groceries there's no chocolates lying around you know what you want in your body and there are bits of treats here and there around the house, but I hardly eat them. Today, I've seasoned this chicken already, which I am happy about. It's chicken wings, so I'm going to fry this. Look at that. I found this.
So as I was saying, I do have crisp and drinks around the house. That's for when my family comes over to visit me. So that's one perks of living alone. I don't get tempted by unhealthy food. Currently, I'm liking this phase, but whenever I leave the house, that's the ultimate challenge, especially at work. So yes, my current challenge is keeping this healthy diet going whilst at work, whilst outside of my apartment. Even when I'm at my family's house, I tend to gravitate towards starchy food because that's what they're cooking. That's what they have in their house. So for me, my duty is to try to meal prep from home or whenever I go to my family's house I buy my own groceries and take there and cook but when I go there I'll cook as well for everyone so I can't be bothered to be cooking two pots so maybe I just cook what I'm cooking and let them eat healthy as well but at work I'll be ordering ordering KFC, McDonald's, Nando's so this is something that I just want to try. So I'm going to buy some dish. Maybe I can meal prep on Sundays and see how it goes. Or meal prep the day before and bring those to work because that's where my downfall is. And this is also one of the main reasons that I like working from home. When I work from home, I can manage my diet properly. I eat healthier um, I don't have that rush that rush in the morning it just mess with my entire day to go in the office so that's why I just love working from home and it's just more than working from home because it contributes to a healthier work-life balance I'm just gonna continue watching my program I'm a girly that I can't eat without watching something look at that wing guys look at that wing so yes i am a girly that i can't eat without watching my favorite program or anything at all i just have to have something watching whilst eating if you are comment below and as always i'll see you on the next one bye